Hey everybody, it's Monday Persona here, and I am back with a very, very special video for me. So April 24th marked the 10th anniversary of the Walking Dead game, and Skybound Games reached out and asked me if I would do something for it. So I decided I'm going to show you how I do Lee Everett, or at least do my best in showing you. Let's go. First I start with my primer, and then I go straight into my foundation. Lately, for a lot more costumey things, I've been using a lot more ColourPop, specifically the No Matte Filter ColourPop Foundation which I can't seem to find on their website anymore, so I'm kind of clinging on to the last bits of this one. But here we have a blend, blend, blend. From there I go to the matching concealer for that same foundation from ColourPop. I'm so sorry, it's upside down. Now I'm still trying to get the hang of where I need to place certain things sometimes, so most of the time I put it under my eyes, on my nose, on my chin, and just the places that seem a little darker that I want to hide. And then I blend, 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 blend. Now normally I would use Beauty Bakery, but I wanted to use Morphe in the same color of my foundation because being Lee, being more manly, I wanted to kind of keep that, that darker tone rather than making it a little lighter with my uh, translucent powder. And this is the only brown powder I have. Now I use my Benefit Brow in order to do my eyebrows in, and I'll be doing them a little thicker than usual because Lee Everett has thicker eyebrows than I do. I also have a thinner Benefit eyebrow pencil that I'll go in and I'll do a little bit more detailing on the end of my eyebrows to make it look a little hairier and not so like perfect and pristine in the eyebrow curve that I normally do with my regular makeup. And now we go in for the detailing. So I use multiple different palettes when I do this. I start off by using two different Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. One of which is the Jackie Aina one. I don't remember the name of the one I'm holding right now. So when it comes down to detailing, most of the time I just kind of mimic the picture. But what you're going to try to do is make certain areas and creases of your face darker. But I just mostly try to keep staring back at the cell shading of the picture and the image of the character and I try to fill in those spots that seem darker and highlight other spots that seem lighter and, and go through it with the eyeshadow to just get into those creases in different areas. For me it's really hard to explain because as an artist a lot of the times I just do and I just kind of observe the way people look and the way the images look and try to copy that same thing onto my face. But there are so many masculine tutorials out there for anime and things like that and I've kind of inherited those into my own technique on how I do my things because I have such a chibi round little face like fish lips to get a proper jawline. Now I'm going in with my Juvia bronzer palette to get more of the darkness around my face because it's a lot easier with this palette than using the small eyeshadow. Another thing that I really try to do is darken around my chin and around my jaw so much more because Lee Everett does have a beard. He has a beard and a mustache so most of the time when men have that they have like a 5 o'clock shadow-esque kind of thing so I tried to darken it before I go in and put more of the lines on to get that right. And like I said before, a lot of this is just detailing and making sure you get little pieces right, making sure it looks like the image properly, make sure the shading is in the right spot so it's more paying attention and practice. I will say this, being somebody who has OCD and someone who is a bit of a perfectionist, it takes me so long to figure these pieces out because I, I constantly have to keep looking at the image, looking back, looking back, taking some pieces off, adding some pieces, and it just takes me a long while because I want to make sure that it looks as close as possible with what I can do. I'm also a person who likes to put in all the shading and darkness before I get into the very fine detailing of the cosplay. Now I switch to my Mayron paint set. With my Mayron set, I began to fill in all the little hairlines and little definition of the lines in the outlining of the character. This is when we really get down to trying to figure out the character's look in the game and copying the lines and the outlining of the character to make it look like the video game itself in the cell sh shading kind of look. I always just call it the Borderland outlining process because that's the style Borderland tends to take for their gaming uh, artistic look. And this process does take quite a while if you're really trying to get the lines on right because I keep staring back at the picture and looking at my face and putting on lines and adding lines and rubbing lines out and at first it doesn't look very good and it takes a while to really get to where you want to be with it. Another good beard technique is taking a mascara and going over your face to get those kind of struggly like hairline. And if you're like me that just kind of highlights your beard so it helps a little bit. 
Luckily, I grabbed one of my newer Morphe uh, mascaras, so it didn't take me very long to try to fill in all the lines that I wanted. And it kind of helped with the outline, so I didn't have to sit there and do individual little fine uh, lines for my makeup. I did, however, go back in with some of my shadows and some of my uh, paints to just kind of continue to fine detail it all out. It's a lot of just fine detailing and, and making sure that it looks the way that you want it to look. And that will take a long time if, like I said, you're a perfectionist and you want to make sure everything looks the way you want it to look. From here, I'm going in with my eyeliner. I believe this is a new Benefit eyeliner that I found to try to do a little more fine detailing on my eyes and going through and getting that kind of properly like mixed up and then getting the uh, a regular pencil to kind of fill under my eyes and my waterline. With this, I was trying to make myself look a little more tired and still kind of doing more fine detailing on the eyebrows and places like that to once again continue with the outlining and the detailing of making myself look a little more masculine for Lee. One thing I will always say is this process is not difficult, it's just tedious. It's just a lot of little fine detailing and a lot of little pieces that you have to pay attention to and make sure that you do properly or at least to your liking. And now, of course, I have to set it all because I would hate to not set this, go outside, and just ruin my makeup completely. Also wanted to make sure I didn't spray into my drink because my Red Bull would have tasted terrible. And this time we're going to do something a little different, and I'm going to show you the very final process of the cosplay outside. And there you have it. This is how I do my makeup for my Lee Everett cosplay. It's one of my favorite cosplays of all time. Lee is such an amazing character and such a great game. I'm so blessed to be asked to do this and this was such a fun thing to do and to redo a photo shoot of one of my favorite characters. If you like this video, like the video. If you like me, subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And happy anniversary to The Walking Dead. Remember you're loved, you're amazing in every way, shape, and form. Bye guys.